Hi there. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. At least three or four of you have asked that I do my guitar collection. So today that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to begin chronologically. The first guitar I ever had was this vintage silver tone that was my grandfather's. It's from the late 1950s and my grandmother bought it for him for Christmas from the Sears catalog. She doesn't remember if it was 57 or 58, but it was the late 50s and it was something around like 15 to 20 dollars, she said. So this was my first guitar. I found it in the basement actually, packed away. And my grandfather unfortunately had left the strings on for 20 years. So as a result of that, I don't know if you can see the neck here warped. And ever since then, the action has been rather uncomfortably high, even though I fixed it. Now, learning guitar on this was, as you would expect, a workout because of that. But I managed, and I was never really able to do an F chord because the action was just too high to bar the first fret. But besides that, this has a very beautiful tone. I don't have any strings on it right now because there's another issue in the back here. It started to... Um, Actually, it's not looking bad now. It's been in the basement about a year, but it started separating in the back and actually it looks like that might be resolving, but nevertheless, um, I not, it not got knocked over at one point and I'm going to have to get it repaired. In any case, I need to get the neck fixed and the action fixed, but it has a wonderfully beautiful tone. I mean, you don't get lacquers and finishes like this anymore and it has a beautiful vintage look as well. I have some footage of myself playing this from years past, from when I had an iPad, and um, I just have to find the old flash drive it's on, but I'll, before I get the video out, I'll make sure I include it. So, this is the silver tone. I hope at some point in the future I can get it repaired and you'll be able to hear how wonderfully beautiful this sounds. And when I do get it restrung, I'd like to use some Martin retro strings. I've heard that's good for vintage guitars like this. Doxology. Okay, so, next. The first guitar I bought myself was this wonderful Alhambra 3C, and it's Spanish made. This is the guitar most of you are used to hearing me play in my videos. So, it has a nice deep, rich Spanish sound. After having vacationed in Spain back in 2015, I'd gone to Malaga. I'd heard a lot of street musicians playing these classical guitars. And I thought, you know, maybe I should get one. I really liked the sound, I liked the look, I liked the whole culture. And I'd been out of playing guitar for years, but I, at that point, wanted to get back into it. So when I returned, you know, it took me a while to find a Spanish guitar at a reasonable price, but in 2016, the Guitar Center in Portland, Maine had this for $300 used. And as it says inside, I'll take a picture to show you, but I'll just read it off. Alhambra, Muro de Alcoy, Spain, Model 3C. Number 6990164. Now the three C's the highest in the student line. After you get to the performance line, then you get to like hand-built, custom-made guitars. But at least it's a Spanish-made guitar, which is what I wanted. 
and it has that nice sound that we're all used to. I've been tuning the strings to 432 hertz and it sounds sounds great with that um, and you all have heard it, you all have liked it, so excellent. So my next guitar has a very interesting history. Believe it or not, I found this Fender free by the side of the road. Back in 2017 I was driving past a yard sale that had finished on Cumberland Avenue here in Saco, Maine and I saw this outside amongst a few other things just kind of junked in a pile with a sign that said free. Now it didn't look as good as it does now obviously it was in disrepair it had just two three strings hanging off all rusted and broken um, there was so much grime on the fretboard that it, it took me several Lysol wipes to rub off and there's just grime all over it. It had clearly been in a basement for several years and neglected and I took it home, I refurbished it, I polished up the fretboard nicely, I took some just uh, regular guitar polish, it took several um, hours actually to refurbish this and I put on a new set of strings. At the time I was using D'Addario Phosphor Bronze Light, now I'm using Phosphor Bronze made by Pyramid in Germany, also in the light gauge. And I've had them on about a year, but I think it's still sounding good, and they're tuned to 432 hertz. But just a beautiful, deep, rich sound. Now this is a real Fender, not a Squire, so I was very fortunate to find that. So maybe for a few hours investment of my time and five, ten bucks in strings. It's been a great value. So my last and final guitar is one you're familiar with. This is a Jose Ramirez Studio RAC. And you're likely familiar with it from my Hark the Herald Angel Sings and my Danza de los Haches Gaspar Sands video. This is the guitar that was for sale in Midtown Music in Biddeford, Maine, and I was trying to help the owner at the time, Nick, to sell it, but uh, that didn't pan out, it hadn't sold, and um, when, I, when the price was reduced down to $850, I decided to jump at it. Uh, unfortunately, well maybe fortunately for him, Nick has decided to pursue some new things in Nashville, so I wanted to buy the guitar before he left, and I think that I'll probably play it in one of my next videos, but it's a very, very beautiful and solid handmade Spanish guitar in the classical, the true classical tradition. It has a deeper resonance than my Alhambra. My Alhambra is still a good Spanish guitar, but this just has a different sound. I don't know whether it's the lacquer, the woods, construction, but it's just a beautiful sound, even at full pitch. I've been tuning it to 415 hertz, which is known as Baroque tuning. For you technical people, it's a half step down from regular 440 hertz tuning. But I, I just feel like it has the perfect sound for Baroque tuning, and I'm going to just play a couple of quick things here. Um, just two seconds, and you'll hear that it sounds great at Baroque pitch. And then you can take something like Folias. You could even take something like Bach. And then, you know, you could even take something like Fernando Sor sounds really good on this guitar as well. Opus 35, number 3. It's just a, a deeper resonance in it than in the Alhambra. The Alhambra still sounds very good, don't get me wrong, but th there's just something, there's something else about this. And I was actually playing that Fernando Sor piece the other day down at Ocean Park in the gazebo, and a couple of young girls came up to me and told me that that specific song was some of the most beautiful music they had ever heard. So, it's already, you know, moved people's hearts, I suppose, and um, I'm hoping to play it in my... I haven't done, like, an official video as my guitar with this yet, but I'm going to do that in the future. And that's the last one that I own. So, I thank you for joining me. I hope you found this enlightening, or at least interesting. I know a few of you have been curious about this, so... Now you know. 
Um, hopefully we'll get to see the silver ton at some point in the future too, but I'm going to nevertheless try to find that old video and put it in either at the end or in the middle, we'll see. But I'm going to definitely put it in so you guys can hear how nice that sounds. Alright, have a good day.